What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I've got some good news coming out of the Microsoft camp for you today. Mostly spoken by my boy, Phil Spencer, because he's one of the two gaming company executives that I actually like. Because he gen genuinely seems to actually be doing his best to give consumers the, the most out of his company's product. When you look at what he's done for the Xbox One since he took over after Don Matrick was forced out, there is a significant difference from Microsoft's original vision from when it was announced versus what's happened since he's taken over. Most likely, you're probably guessing and probably affected by this in the same way as myself, is backwards compatibility. Obviously, that's a big thing for a lot of gamers, and the fact that neither of the consoles this generation shipped with backwards proper backwards compatibility but of course Phil Spencer made the Xbox One considerably more backwards compatible than the joke that is the PS4's backwards compatibility which is basically non-existent unless you rebuy all your existing crap and even then it's a very small small list that barely works but anyway I, I'm, that's beside the point so Phil Spencer was answering some fan questions on Twitter today and a lot of the questions that came up mostly surrounded Black Ops 2. And, of course, as you'd expect, they were asking him if Black, Op Black Ops 2 would ever be made available to backwards compatibility on Xbox One. Now, Phil Spencer replied in kind of like a broken English tweet. It's, it's a bit strange. It's probably just because of the character limitations. But here's what he had to say anyway. And this is all verbatim, by the way. So, yes, it is kind of brokenish English. I like the progress on backwards compatibility. We'd like to have all and work on third party games is always a partnership with publisher. So you can get what he's saying out of it. He likes the progress that they've made on backwards compatibility. When it first launched, it had 100 games available. It's now got over 250 games on backwards compatibility. And then he goes on to say that he'd like to have all Xbox 360 games be backwards compatible and work on Xbox One backwards compatibility. And of course, as they have to work on third party games, not just first party, you know, it's always they always have to work in a partnership with the publisher. They can't just go ahead and do what they want. They can't just say to the publishers, well, hey, listen, fuck it, we're putting it on even if you don't want it. It's, it's not a deal. It's not a deal like that. They actually have to work as a partnership together. Personally, I don't see why most companies would say no to this. Uh, it, we have seen it with the likes of Fallout 3, some of the Gears of War games, some of um, Red Dead Redemption. You can see the sales can increase phenomenally from practically nothing once these games are added to backwards compatibility. And it would be the same with probably Black Ops 2, as well as a bunch of Call of Duty games. We all know some of the Call of Duty games have actually made it to backwards compatibility more recently as well. They recently added Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, and World at War as well. So that's, uh, obviously, Black Ops 1 is in there too. So there's a, there, there isn't, there's a bit of a basis on there as well. So I don't agree with a lot of people and a lot of places always say the most stubborn... The third, I was going to say developer, but third-party publisher that, to work with for backwards compatible stuff is Activision. I don't personally agree with that fully. I can understand why they're saying it for the simple reason is when you look at the likes of Modern Warfare 1, okay, you know, the best game in the series, the best game in the, the Call of Duty series in general, not just the Modern Warfare, they obviously wanted to hold that off so they could resell it with the remaster, for or the, the remake, basically, for Infinite Warfare. They could probably be doing the same with the second one and third one. They could be doing the same with the Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360. So, it's, it's kind of a back and forth. I mean, like, up until now, there's no proper game that has that's on backwards compatibility that has a direct remaster. I mean, you have Gears of War, and there's Gears of War Ultimate Edition. It's a bit different, but, like, it, it doesn't... It's not just a straight-up upscale and remaster. It's more so of a remake. The, the exception for that that I'm aware of is only Assassin's Creed 2, which is going to be, I think it's the first game that's going to be just a straight up port slash remaster, uh, as well as be backwards compatible with the original version. I'm getting a bit off topic anyway, but you get the idea. Of, it, it's giving you an overall idea of backwards compatibility on the Xbox 360, or the Xbox 360 on the Xbox One, I should say. So, 
it's all pretty promising, if you ask me, anyway. The fact that Phil Spencer, being the cool guy that he seems to be, wants to have all, or at least as many as possible, Xbox 360 games working on Xbox One, which is a good thing for consumers, which is a great thing. I have I have 102 physical Xbox 360 games, and imagine I could play all them on my Xbox One. Put the disc in. Sure, I have digital copies of some other stuff, but you get the idea. You know, Just be able to put it in, play with my achievements, my profile. Hell, even if I really wanted, I could still play online with my friends that were playing whatever game or you know it, it's all it's all good that's that's all i can say microsoft have obviously done some cool steps as well with backwards compatibility say when the likes of you buy fallout 4 brand new you got a fallout 3 dlc code with the likes of just cause 3 you'd get an xbox 360 backwards compatible version of just cause 2 uh if you bought well this no that that one doesn't really apply i was going to go with black ops 3 on the 360 Technically, you could you'd have the download code for Black Ops One. You'd link it to your account. If you ever upgraded to an Xbox One, you could use the same code on the same account. Anyway, that's all, all off topic. So I think that's great uh, that the Phil wants all that to happen, and it really does seem like he's working towards it. Sure, there's thousands of Xbox 360 games. There are only over 250 at the moment, but it's a start. It's definitely a start, and I know I've played through uh, a decent amount of games. I'd say probably about a dozen games, this different games on backwards compatibility on my Xbox One. So I'm definitely making a bit of use of it, and I'm sure many of you out there are as well. It's one game in particular, I really, really do hope that comes to backwards compatibility. It's actually number one on my personal list, and I recommend everyone out there go to the Xbox website, and you can basically vote for what games you'd like to see on backwards compatibility. And that game is the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on Xbox 360. I would love to see that backwards compatible on Xbox One. Phenomenal games. Peace Walker's not that great, but MGS2 and MGS3 are absolutely fantastic. There's so much replay value in all in them as well. So much to do in them that I've never even properly fully gotten everything, even on the PS2 or the original Xbox or the Xbox 360. And I'd love to be able to do that. I've made a significant progress on the, the Xbox 360 version that I'd love to carry on over. Now, there's also one other bit I want to mention here as well. It's another another thing that Phil Spencer had to comment in the same style of backwards compatibility. So another fan, as you'd expect, said to him, I love the backwards compatibility for 360 titles. Is it ever possible we will see original Xbox backwards compatibility? Phil Spencer replies with, We haven't ruled it out, but we aren't working on it right now. I'd like to find the time to do it. Which is badass. I know this is actually the second time Phil has talked about this. When backwards compatibility of 360 games was first talked, first announced, actually, I should say, uh, shortly after, within I think like two weeks, if even after the original announcement, Phil Spencer was asked if we'd ever see original Xbox games, and he said as well at the time that while obviously they want to focus on getting the 360 backwards compatibility out, that he'd love to have Xbox original OG Xbox, Xbox One Eighty, whatever you want to call it. He'd love to have them working on backwards compatibility. So that's pretty cool as well. That's a really big consumer move too. For the simple reason is that's an Xbox. You could buy an Xbox One that supports every, in theory at least anyway, in a perfect world, that supports every single previous game on the Xbox family uh, throughout the generations. You could have an Xbox One that plays every original Xbox game, that plays every Xbox 360 game, and obviously it's going to play every Xbox One game as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, I know personally I have about, I think it's a dozen ex original Xbox games. Sure, probably none of them I would play on my... Actually, that's not... Well, maybe I would. But some of them I might or might not play on on my Xbox One. But the idea and the, the fact that they go through with the, the time and effort to be more consumer friendly. I don't know why my voice went really weird there when I said be. But to be really consumer friendly and give the consumers another thing for absolutely free is just so cool. And I love the fact that they do it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty much uh, definitely a good thing. So one other thing I will say as well is when it comes to original Xbox backwards compatibility, it's 
it might sure it's obviously difficult but it's not as difficult as you might expect for the simple reason is the xbox 360 architecture which is basically how the hardware and the cpu ran and all that it's vastly vastly different from the xbox one the xbox one is very akin to a pc it's not 100 percent the same but it's very similar to pc hardware whereas the 360 and the ps3 were extremely different they were their own very very unique things Whereas the original OG Xbox 180 was also very much like a PC. They bought the Xbox 360, no, not the Xbox 360, the Xbox One PCs and original Xbox all ran on the same style or close enough to the same style of architecture. So it's not completely ruled out. And I would love to be able to have all three of those gen three generations uh, on my Xbox One. And when my Scorpio comes out, you could call it three and a half generations because, well, we all know how that's going to go. It's a whole other story. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below. Have you taken advantage of backwards compatibility? Would you, what games would you love to see from the 360 on there that you'd love to take advantage of if they were added? Would you take advantage of Xbox, original Xbox games on backwards compatibility of xbox one and what games would you like to see on there if it was only limited or anything like that and as well just what you think about phil spencer just doing all the the actual backwards compatibility stuff for xbox one because we all know that most of the not most of the we all know that some of the the the, the other competition isn't that very very good at backwards compatibility the wii u has it to an extent it's got the uh, support for all the wii games and very spotty virtual console games and then you've got the ps4 which basically will resell you a couple a small few games with very small improvements or uh, they'll sell you a subscription service to play select games via the internet via streaming because you can't actually download them because they don't run on the hardware because yeah they're just too lazy anyway that's off topic. Let me know all that in the comments section below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.